Hey guys, I'm Ben and welcome back to my Sims 4 save file. Last time we took a look at the Strange Town Hotel and this time we're taking a look at the iconic Calientes. So this family is interesting just because like we have like the these four like, like oh, shoot it renamed them. That's annoying but because I, I made like because you normally have uh, Katrina and then like all the other Calientes, Don Lothario and all that. And I also added in Toothless Joe and uh, Luis Libros from Sim, from like the Sims 2 console and Sims 3, yeah, Barnacle Bay respectively. So I think it's definitely interesting. I do want to rechange her name real quick because I don't know what's been going on with the Sims and renaming Sims for some reason and I'm just like... I really am just trying to make sure everything turns out okay, you know, and I'm just sort of like, okay, hey, her name is supposed to be like Karima Caliente, you know, wait, is it? Yeah, it's what it says here. I don't know why it said Katrina before. So, all right, let's start the proper tour. I don't know why every house so far has just been like completely nighttime, but whatever, it's fine. Here's the house, here's everything that's there, and there you go, like, it's really gorgeous. I love the way it looks, like I just really wanted to add so much to it, to the original condos, so. All right, let's make this like the actual picture, right? So there you go, that's the screenshot. Now, if we'll start here, so that before we go into like the basement and everything, so here we have their iconic house, like the entryway and everything added. Like I kept the draft because I really like the draft. Oh, I think one thing I, well, obviously this is the base game safe, so it's not going to be as flushed out as the pack version. But yeah, like I add, I added like a bunch of plants in here. So I was just like, like oh, it just it feels more empty, and it's just like that's just because it's like the base game version. So yeah, like I'm just touring base game version here. I'm not going to be touring the pack version i'm going to be doing like tours later on on in the form of like one like big video i'm going to do one big video for the base game too but yeah here's don's part of the house i sort of can i basically like took their houses and shoved them together to make this sort of like multi-family condo right so yeah you even have all this over here like basically a complete recreation of everything right go out here you sort of have their nice little barbecue area. You have Luisa, Toothless Joe, and all that. I have like the nice little pool area, little garden. So it's very naturey too. So if you go upstairs, well, before we do that, let's take a look at the kitchen. You know, I definitely want to put a bunch of plants in here. here so that we can like sort of stress like sort of like Dina's interest in nature. So you have the kitchen, it's very fancy. So very nice. Then we go upstairs, and then let's go in Nina and Luisa's room. So, right here we have like the it's like a nice little bookcase. It's kind of cramped, but sort of just like yeah, yeah, just have the roommates here. I might uh, change these to bunk beds at some point, but I mean we'll see. You know, like I'm not entirely sure, but it would be nice for them to like have bunk beds of their own. That'd be kind of fun. So yeah, just thinking about a lot of potential stuff that's been happening, and especially because of like updates and stuff, you know, because like you have like all like this happening, and then like the game keeps updating with like, oh, now I have platforms, now I have bunk beds, and I can't really keep up with all of it. So yeah, but like it's just a lot to sort of update every single sim every time you get a big update in the game, which honestly is great, like gives me more work to do. I'm also not focusing on it as much. Here we have Dina's room. We have her boyfriend, Michael, here. Definitely really wanted to uh, focus a bit more on this. I really love the way this looks, though. It's so pretty. Like, it's very nice. And then you go upstairs. And you have... I even had the chicken checkers. You know, I was chicken chest right now. But you have chicken. Like, basically from the console to the opening. And then you have the nice little bar here. Like, the hot tub. You even have the telescope. So, uh, let's go over here, because this is where uh, Don's b bedroom is. So, oh, here it is, very nice, it's messy and stuff. This is where uh, Don and uh, Karima sleep, so. 
Yeah, it's a nice fancy bedroom. I might add more stuff in the future, but I mean, we'll just have to see, you know. I feel like there's a lot of stuff in like other packs that would be like, oh, I'd probably add that, you know, that looks like stuff in The Sims 2. Have the nice little balcony here with a bar. So it's very like nice. And I feel like this is sort of the area in the in Oasis Springs that I've sort of made like just a bunch of multi-family houses. So that's kind of one of the big gimmicks of this town that I've sort of just made, you know. So all right, let's all right, let's do that. So downstairs, we sort of have a nice little office, you know, that you can go in. And then in here, this is where, like, this is kind of like the, like, main sort of commute area. Well, not commute, but, like, main, like, community area where everyone can sort of just hang out, do their own thing. It's very, like, fancy. I use a lot of the 20th, 21st, like, anniversary stuff. So over here, you have Toothless Joe's bedroom. So it's very, like, nice. It's very quaint for someone unlike him, so it's. I honestly really like it. I, again, I think this is at the point where like we just got these items, and I'm just like, I want to put them in. They look nice, you know. I might add more arcade stuff later since we already have something like that, and let's sort of base off the console version. We have the bathrooms here too, so yeah. I really wanted to. This really makes me think of like. Like when I lived in an apartment, you know, like back like when we would have these like nice rental offices that would have like these like little events and stuff. So yeah, like that's pretty much it for, for this build. Like honestly, like it's been kind of nice just to take a look at it, you know. So I was like family here. And uh, it's like, I love that I completely brushed over like the urn here that's still here, but it's also of the other Don Lothario, so... I don't know, man. I think Don Lothario is weird, too. Just because, like, his face, I feel like, is weird to mess with. So, yeah, because, like, his original face shape, I kind of wanted to push it to look a little bit more like um, he did in Sims 2. But he just ended up looking so weird. So, yeah. So, next time, we're going to be taking a look at another family. It's uh, going to be a Sims 4 promotional Sim house. Basically, the uh, uh, Vindals. So that'll be fun to look at and that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching and see you next time.